Welcome to Electro Online. Now we're going to try to find the center of gravity of a parabolic area. And that is a little bit more complicated for two reasons. One of them is that we're going to have to find the area first of this particular slice. It's not simply a portion of a circle or a portion of an ellipse. We actually will have to use some integration to find the area, which we're going to need in our equation right there. And then, of course, we're going to have to find the the center of gravity of that particular region where we're going to have to integrate between two of these lines right here. So you'll see in just a moment the technique. Let's first find the area of this little, of uh, this region of the parabolic area right here. Well, what we need to do is find a small little dA. So there's our small little dA, which is equal to the upper limit, which is equal to h, minus the lower, uh, which is equal to the parabola, which is equal to y, equals to kx squared, so that would be minus kx squared, where k is equal to h over a squared. Notice that the width of this region is a, and the height here is h, and that's where the constant k comes from. So to find the total area, that's going to be equal to the integral of all the da's, and we're going to integrate from, let's say, from 0 to a in the x direction, but notice we're going to then have to multiply times 2 because we want both halves. That will be equal to 2 times the integral of dA, which is going to be h minus kx squared. Oh, we have to multiply this whole thing, of course, times dx. That will be the height times the width. I forgot my dx here, so I need a dx. And we're going to go from 0 to a, and then double it, of course. We're going to take half the area and then double it. That's why the 2 comes, comes in right there. This is not too difficult to integrate. This is equal to 2 times. That would be hx minus kx cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to a. So when we plug that in, we get this is equal to 2 times. When we plug in the lower limit, you get 0, so you don't have to worry about the lower limit. We only need the upper limit, so this will be h times a minus k times a cubed over 3. Now notice that k is h over a squared, so we may want to plug that in now to make it easier to evaluate. This is equal to 2 times h times a minus k, which is h over a squared, multiplied times a cubed over 3. This a squared gets rid of two of those. So now we have ha minus one-third ha, which is two-thirds ha. So we get this is equal to two times ha minus a third, or two-thirds ha. So that would be equal to four-thirds ha, which is the area of that piece of that parabolic area. So now we have the denominator of this equation. Now we can work on the numerator. So to work on the numerator, we're going to need another dA. Of course, that would be the same thing right here. So the dA, uh, the dA is equal to h minus kx squared times dx, right? So that would be the same type of area. And then we also need to have the center right here, the, the uh, y-coordinate of the center of gravity, that little piece. Now that will be equal to the sum of these two divided by two. That's how you find the average of a number like that. You add them together and then you divide by two. So you take the upper limit, h, plus the lower, which is y, divided by two. So that will give us the halfway point between those two. And of course, y is equal to kx squared, so we'll plug that in later, but now we're ready to use this equation right here. So we have y, the y-coordinate of the center of gravity is equal to the integral of y dA divided by A, which is equal to the integral of, we have h plus y over 2, multiplied times dA, which is right here, which is h minus kx squared times dx, and the whole thing divided by the area, which we got here, which is 4 thirds h times A. We can't integrate yet because we have to replace the y for kx squared. So let's go ahead and do that. The y-coordinate of the center of gravity is equal to the integral. And again, we're going to integrate from 0 to a, so we have to double that. So 2 times from 0 to a of h plus, instead of y, we're going to write kx squared, kx squared, divided by 2, 
and this multiplied times h minus kx squared times dx and then the whole thing divided by 4 thirds ha. This two can be factored out and then we'll cancel out with that two so that's gone. What we have to do now is we have to work out or multiply out the numerator. So we have y bar is equal to the integral of, that would be h squared, that's the, the sum and the difference of the, those two quantities, so the middle term uh, disappears. That would be plus times a minus is a minus k squared times x to the fourth power times dx. And let me make this a little smaller, otherwise it gets in the way here. So the uh, 4 thirds, 4 thirds uh, HA. We multiply this out, we get this times the X, the whole thing divided by 4 thirds HA. 4 thirds HA, and the integral limits are still from 0 to A. Remember the two canceled out, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. We're now ready to integrate. So this is equal to H squared times X minus k squared x to the fifth over five. The whole thing evaluated from zero to a, and the whole thing divided by four thirds h times a. Uh, this is kind of small here, let me write a little bit bigger. Now let's implement the limits. If we plug in the lower limit, we get zero, so we don't have to worry about the lower limit. So this becomes h squared times a minus k squared times a to the fifth over five, the whole thing divided by four thirds h times a, and then plug in what k is equal to, which is h, h over a squared, so this becomes h squared times a minus h squared divided by a to the fourth times a to the fifth over five, and the whole thing divided by four thirds h times a. Now notice the numerator will get a little simpler, we have an a to the fourth and a to the fifth. And so now we have h square a minus a fifth h square a. So now we have y, the y coordinate is equal to the, uh, let's see here, we have h square a minus a fifth h square a, all divided by four thirds h times a. So this is equal to four fifths h square a divided by four thirds h times a. The a's cancel out, one of the h's cancel out, and the four's cancel out. So now this gives us three-fifths times h. That's all that's left. So three-fifths h is the answer for the y-coordinate of that parabolic area. When I'm saying y-coordinate, I mean the y-coordinate of the center of gravity is equal to three-fifths h. And so if h is over here, 3 fifths h, that would be slightly over the halfway point between the zero and the maximum height. And so that's how we find the center of gravity of a parabolic area like that.